texts really differ. Uh, there might be a text that's going to be really hard for students for a particular reason. It might be the way the author structured the information. Maybe it's organized in a peculiar way that you really need students to pay attention to. I'd certainly want the, the teacher to be able to set that up. One of the ways that text difficulty is, is going to be measured uh, going forward is the Lexile system. It's just a measure of readability. They give you estimates of how f hard a, a particular book might be and whether one book is harder than another. Uh, Lexiles is a very good system. I can see why the Common Core people selected it. it, it it's highly accurate. But there are lots of other reasons why text is difficult and that children might need support in. So if, if the designation says this book is at a 550 Lexile, that's useful. You know it's harder than the 450 and you know it's easier than the 650, but you're kind of stuck. You don't know what, you know, what uh, uh, would you do with this text or why is this text hard. And in fact, texts differ in why they're difficult. And so you could have several books all written at the same lexile level and some of them are hard because of the vocabulary and some are hard because of sentences and some are hard for many other reasons. And so it's really important that we read each text carefully and we try to understand, you know, lexiling them is a good idea, but once you've, you've got a text that's sort of in the right neighborhood, now you've really got to look at it and decide what is it that might be challenging about this specific text. Sometimes a text presupposes that you're going to know particular things, that you know what's already happened uh, up to a particular point. And, you know, a seven-year-old child, an eight-year-old child might not know that information. And so making sure that they have access to that before they read the text makes great sense. We have to recognize these are students who are learning to read. Uh, they're going to bring a, a, a very wide set of backgrounds to a text and, and that it's critically important that the teacher pay attention to that and, and give pre-reading support when it's needed and, and trim it down to as little as possible when it isn't needed. And so how you start out a, a story or article might differ from lesson to lesson, which is quite appropriate. But let's think about some of the other kinds of things that might make a text difficult. Uh, for example, sometimes a text is hard uh, because of something called cohesion. Uh, how well the different ideas connect up with each other. And so let's say the this, this story starts out with a fairly simple sentence. Uh, you know, the boy uh, bought, a store, uh, bought a toy at the store. So the boy bought a toy at the store. And now we're going to go on and find out about what happens with this event. And, well, you know, maybe the next sentence will refer to the, bo to the, the, uh, uh, the boy as John. Uh, and so now you have to link the boy to John. Maybe it will refer to the toy as it. And so now you've got to link the toy to it. And as the, as the text unrolls, there will be uh, pronouns that will be used. There will be synonyms that will be used. There'll be different names that will be used. And the good reader is constantly making those connections, linking up all those ideas. Kids often have trouble with that. Some texts are really challenging in that regard. There are other texts that might be difficult because of the way the authors organize the information. Uh, maybe this is a text where it starts out just sort of listing a lot of information or enumerating a lot of information about something, and then in the whole second section, it's all comparing it with something else. And so, oh, you're reading about alligators, you find out all about alligators, and then there's this whole section comparing them with crocodiles. And you look and you go, wow, it's the comparisons with crocodiles that are really going to confuse them. I've got to make sure that they have enough support so that I can guide them to think about that. So there's always something that could be a little bit different in one text or another that might be the challenge. And so the, the trick is to read it ahead of time, figure out what that challenging feature might be, and then make sure that the supports are either there. They could be there in pre-reading. They might be there once the students have struggled with the text a bit and now you, you, you tell them that information or add that information and let them try it again and see if they can do it better. Uh, but you don't just throw students in the deep end. You've got to help them a little bit.